There's a cry in my heart For your glory to fall For your presence to fill up my senses There's a yearning again A thirst for discipline A hunger for things that are deeper Could you take me beyond could you carry me through? If I open my heart, could I go there with you? For what do I have if I don't have you, Jesus? What in this life could mean anymore? You are my rock. You are my glory, you are the lifter of my hand. There's a cry in my heart for your glory to fall. For your presence to fill up my senses There's a yearning again A thirst for discipline A hunger for things that are deeper Could you take me beyond? Could you carry me through? Could I go there with you? For I've been here before Yet I know there's still more Oh Lord, I need to know you For what do I have If I don't have you, Jesus What in this life mean anymore. You are my rock. You are my glory. You are the lifter of my head. What do I have if I don't have you, Jesus? What in this life Okay, there we go. Whoa. Headphone head. Uh, hey, I have absolutely no time. Absolutely no time. Of course, this is the first uh, song that we're doing at the new house. And there's just all kinds of things that are not going my way. But that's okay. So, real quickly. Oswald Chambers again this morning. John seven seventeen. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine. He shall know the truth. He shall know the way of eternal life. He shall know what is good. There is prayer that each of us should have. And I just sang about it. And as we studied last week, there's a prayer of practical effect, of practical application that the way that we live our lives would be pleasing to God. Yes? Agreed, of course. You're reasonable people. And if w you've been along this journey with me for a considerable amount of time, then uh, that's the only thing that I 
tr- at least I try. I pray that that is the only thing that I ever say is just set it in your heart and Lord set it in our hearts outside of the daily sins and the things that we still struggle with and when we have the acknowledgement in our head of reality of what's good of what's not good and then we still have those moments those reactive moments or those times where we justify the way that we feel and how we ought to behave based on the way that we feel instead of based on what we should do. He says, the golden rule for understanding spirituality is not intellectual, but obedience. If a man wants scientific knowledge, intellectual curiosity is his guide. But if he wants insight into what Christ teaches, he can only get it by obedience. No man ever receives a word from God without instantly being put to the test over it. We disobey and then we wonder why we don't go on spiritually. When Jesus brings a thing home by his word, don't shirk it. If you do, you will become a religious humbug. Watch the things you shrug your shoulders over, and you will know why you do not go on spiritually. First, go. At the risk of being thought fanatical, you must obey what God tells you. So, of course, immediate application uh, related to this vlog of ideas, the way that we pursue um, physical passions and desires, and the way that we pursue materialistic uh, things and pleasures and possessions and the way that we parade ourselves in this world is it that we are made something that we are worth something because of what we have done because of who we have made ourselves to be because of what the world what other people say about us or is it because Actually, I'm nothing, and only by the grace of God am I anything. What do I have if I don't have you, Jesus? What in this life could mean anything at all, let alone anything more than the hope and the purpose and the joy and the peace and to know that I know that I know that I'm right with God, that I'll be in heaven one day. Life without Jesus is like a donut because there's a hole in the middle of your heart. Everything without Jesus equals nothing. Nothing plus Jesus or Jesus plus nothing equals everything because in the end, the, you know, the things of this world are fading away. Heaven and earth will pass away. But the word of God, the truth, the things that we ought to do to obey persist. And I'm preaching to the choir, unless you're not a part of the choir. And I'm also preaching, preaching to myself. A lot of things have been going on recently. A lot of little situations, conversations that continue to be just one more check, one more little jab in the back of the head. Watch it, man, you know, and watch out. Be attentive because every day that goes by is a day closer to the inevitable. I've been hearing a lot of sermons on the inevitability of the coming of Christ and what we ought to do in light of that. Who Jesus has revealed himself to be, not just the gentle and lowly, long-haired, bearded hippie. That's, that's not him. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And the only way of salvation and the only way for us to do anything substantial in our lives for only one life will soon be passed and only what is done for Christ will last. But again, he's the one that enables us. He's the one that gives us the, the understanding, the vision, the strength to do anything. And so in the times that we do lean on our own understanding, in the times that we do not maintain that discipline, in the times that we don't take every thought captive into obedience, God knows us. Uh, the position of our hearts and the position of other people's hearts when we not necessarily do something again not necessarily bad but just it wasn't the best thing god has grace over that and etc cetera, etc cetera. 
but just to understand the Hawthorne principle, yeah. the presence of God, to be aware of it and to acknowledge it and to let it affect our behavior. Because we do have the bent towards sin. There is no maintenance. There is no even keel. We're either going backwards or we're walking. We're running the race. And all the things that don't go your way will work themselves out eventually. And then you have to move on to other things. So with that, I'm going to shut up. Good song. Starfield, I think. Starfield is the artist or band, whatever. Old song. Good, good song. Anyway, grace and peace and so forth. See ya.